You're watching DIY Garage and I'm your host, Kerry Holzman. You know, it's springtime again and of course that means it's time for spring cleaning. But not the clutter from your home, but rather the clutter from your computer. In this video, I'm going to show you a very fast and easy way to do that that you've probably never seen before. We talk about removing the dust. This is just a random computer that we've grabbed here at the office and it's under normal use in a fairly dust-free environment. It doesn't really look that bad, but if we actually take this cover off, you'll see just really what's going on in there. Now, as bad as that front dust filter looks, it's not preventing 100% of the dust from coming into the system. It prevented that dust from coming in, but there's still a lot more dust it allowed in. And if we pull the side panel off, you can see that. In fact, everywhere we've got a fan, we're gonna have dust. So that means our front intake fan, exhaust fan, CPU fan, the heat sink behind the CPU, power supply. If you have a liquid cooler, you want to clear out the, blow out the radiator, as well as if you have a discrete graphics card, you want to blow that out as well and get the dust out of there. What the dust is doing when it gets into your system is it acts as an insulator. So what happens when you have a lot of dust in the system is the system runs hotter and it may even run louder because the fans have to spin faster in order to keep your system cool. So by bringing all this dust out of the system, we should have a system that runs much cooler and much more efficiently. Now when we talk about cleaning your computer, I'm not referring to getting some cleaner and a paper towel and wiping the outside of it down. That's purely aesthetics and that's great. Nothing wrong with taking pride in your computer, but it doesn't actually do anything to help your computer as far as performance or reliability. Many of you are probably familiar with these uh, cans of compressed chemical to spray the computer out. We're not going to be using that today because we've got something that's much more cost effective and ecological. Now what you just saw was an electric leaf blower that I used to clean this computer out and you saw how fast it was. And bear in mind it's an electric leaf blower and not a gas leaf blower. This one actually has two settings, uh, 150 mile an hour and 220 miles an hour. I put it on the slower of the two. I think uh, under 200 miles an hour uh, wind force is where you want to be as much as possible. I don't think the 220 is really going to make that much of a difference, but just to be a little cautious. Now some people may ask, can I use a hair dryer? No. <laughs> can I vacuum it? No. Uh, you shouldn't. Can I use an air compressor? You shouldn't. Why? Air compressors tend to collect moisture inside of the canister that holds the air and uh, that then spits water out onto your computer. Now they do sell water filters for those. However, you still are dealing with a very narrow stream of air that comes out of that nozzle at a very high PSI. And if you can adjust the PSI, uh, which you can in most cases, I would set it below 100, 100 or below and always keep the nozzle moving. You'll see I never kept the leaf blower in any one area of the computer for too long. Uh, there's a lot of myths and, and misinformation on the internet regarding damaging fans by spinning the fans too quickly. Uh, as a computer technician, over the last 10 years, I have blown out with a leaf blower every computer that's come into my office for repair. Never had a single problem. Uh, some people are concerned, as I mentioned, that you can damage the fans. In my experience, if a fan gets damaged, you did yourself a favor because that fan was failing. I very, very rarely have seen it, maybe once or twice in, in all the years I've been doing that. And uh, further, you also see I didn't have to remove the dust covers. If we look here on the front, that dust cover is completely clean. That's just how much power that the leaf blower has. Now, the whole process takes 30 to 45 seconds. It's very quick. And as you can see, everything's very, very clean. Uh, one of the other concerns people have with regards to the fan spinning is they say that the fans can, by spinning the fan manually, you're creating electricity. That electricity is going back into your motherboard. Well, it's just not that easy to make a lot of electricity. Otherwise, I'd be off the power grid and just have a bunch of fans I'd spin around with a leaf blower. We actually measured it with a multi-tester. And the amount of voltage that's being created by the spinning fan is almost immeasurable. So it's a completely safe process. However, uh, if you're still skeptical, Feel free to take a toothpick or something and stick it in your fan into the heatsink to prevent that fan from moving if it worries you that much. 
Uh, you can also simply unplug your fans from the motherboard if you're concerned about the voltage. But I can tell you, with years and years of experience that I've been doing this with client machines, and I have clients coming back to me time and time again with unrelated problems, that the leaf blower is a completely safe, very economical way, uh, and also very ecological. It's much better for the environment than those cans of compressed gas. Also, the cans of compressed gas, if you tilt them, liquid comes out. And that liquid can cause frostbite if it gets on your skin. It can also damage the paint on your case if you get it on your case. None of these dangers exist with the electric leaf blower. I don't recommend using this on a laptop. We don't want to blow the laptop into your neighbor's yard. Uh, that's a whole different process. And usually for cleaning a laptop, you really need to open it up and it's a more involved process. But for desktops, you can see just how simple that is. The electric leaf blowers, they start about $30 at most uh, home uh, improvement stores. And of course, it can be used for other things around the house as well. So there you have it, a completely safe and convenient and fast way to spring clean your PC. For DIY Garage, I'm Kerry Holzman, and I'll see you next time.